Hi, my name is Jacob with SalesPad, and this is a short video on Sales Monitor. Sales Monitor provides an easy way to view all the open documents in the system by doc ID and by batch. On the left side, you can see all the documents that I'm able to create in SalesPad. When I click this triangle, I can expand the view and see the queues available for this document. We can see the number of documents within that queue, we can see the accumulated doc totals, and we can see the accumulated doc costs. If you find this to start getting a little cluttered and you need to see just a specific document, we have a tab across the top for each doc ID. I'm going to choose the distribution one. To see the documents within these queues, simply click the checkbox next to the name. If you need to see the contents of multiple queues, you can simply click multiple checkboxes. Here we have all the header information for that document. We have the doc number, the doc date, status of the document. You can see if there's any holds on the document. If you need more information, you can right-click on the column, choose Column Chooser, and from here you can see all of the header information fields. To add them to the grid, simply drag and drop. To remove it, simply drag until you see the black X and let go. If you need to see the document's user fields information, we have a procedure that can be ran in your database to allow any sales document user field to be viewable. To get the procedure, just email our support staff and they can get you the procedure and help you set it up and get it working. We have a few other functionalities available to us in this documents window. You can click on the document number and it'll open up the document. You can select the customer and open up the customer card. You can also move a document to a new batch. If you right click, choose send to batch, it'll let you choose the batch you want to move it to. I'm going to move this one to shipping. It's important to note that moving the document will not follow any workflow rules you have in place. It's simply moving it from one batch to another. If you need to search for a specific document, you can use the search box along the top. You can also search by customer name. This will filter the documents to only one customer. Over here, there is a sales rep filter where you can select the sales rep and only their documents will be shown below. I'm going to choose Ian. Sales Monitor is often used to keep you updated on documents in multiple batches. You can manually refresh Sales Monitor with this refresh button, or you can have it automatically refresh for you every 30 seconds, every minute, or every 5 minutes. You can also detach this tab and move it to a separate monitor. To do this, you right-click up here at the top, choose Untab Window, and you can move it from one monitor to another. This allows you to keep an eye on it without having to switch tabs frequently. Many features in Sales Monitor are protected by security. We can turn off the ability to see cost, document totals, gross margin, and a variety of other fields. For further information on Sales Monitor or to see more videos, please visit our website at www.salespad.net.